hey, hey, can I get a yo, 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 what's up, y'all? Man, I tell you what, Jeff Stoltz here. I'm a grateful believer uh, in recovery from drug addiction, and I still struggle with way more things than I can imagine uh, I've got time to say tonight. Um, but I get to serve as the Subway Recovery National Director of Broken Chains. And what an amazing opportunity to be on here with you guys tonight, man. I'm just I'm just so excited about the opportunity to speak to you, man, about to be on here, about to, about to share some information with you and share some about the power of community, you know, and just being a, that, I mean, that's the biggest blessing of all, man, is being a part of this community with all of you, man. And But before we get into that, you know, uh, I'm going to let a couple of people get on here because I'm sure I've got a couple of announcements uh, that I need to make to, to let you guys in on some important information, man. Uh, I tell you what, Celebrate Recovery has been such a huge part of my life for 13 years. Uh, the truth is, 13 years ago, I was eating out of dumpsters, man. I was eating out of dumpsters. I was sleeping under bridges and the crawl spaces under houses. And tonight, man, tonight, 13 years later, I'm on the Celebrate Recovery National Facebook Live. Glory to God, you know, only he can do that, man, because my best choices, my best decisions that I ever came up with led me to a jail cell, led me uh, to sleeping in the gutter, right? But when I gave it all to Jesus Christ, man, when I plugged into his power through the ministry of Celebrate Recovery, bam, got a beautiful wife, man, it, it, just life is good. And so I get to be on here with you guys tonight. And I see we've got quite a few people coming on and that is so exciting. And, and so before we get cranked up, before I start talking to you about what I really want to talk to you about tonight, I got some exciting announcements, man. Look, if this is your first time on the Celebrate Recovery Facebook Live, man, let us know that in the comments. In fact, tell us where you're from so we can welcome you. You know, we want we want to welcome you as part of our community, part of this community, part of God's community, man, because that's how we do this thing. That's how That's how it works in community. So, and if you've been on the Facebook Live this week, you've heard the exciting news, man. What great exciting news. The online Celebrate Recovery Summit is going to be available for one whole week after the summit's over. One whole week. That means you get to watch it from Saturday to Saturday. I mean, you don't have to take time off work. You know, I mean, you get to watch it in the in the, the comfort of your own uh, recliner, man, uh, in your church, in, in your bike shed, you know, in your garage. There's... What an amazing opportunity to be able to watch this thing for people who've never had an opportunity to attend the summit, the people that, that couldn't afford it. I mean, this is affordable. Look, uh, go to the Celebrate Recovery, uh, crsummits.com. It's the official website for the summit, man, because it's updated regularly with the, the speaker information, the summit schedule, the facts. Man, get you a CR Come Rejoice Summit online t-shirt, man. But most importantly, Go to crsummits.com to get your tickets, man. Buy your tickets. Get registered. Look, check it out. For every five tickets, you get a free one. Man, it's already a deal at $49, but for every five tickets, you get a free one. Look, this is your opportunity. The Celebrate Recovery Online Summit, all of us Celebrate Recovery people need to be there. All the CR leaders need to be there. The information is just invaluable. But check it out. This year, it's an opportunity to to really invite your pastor, to invite your family, your friends, the, your church family, the people that you've always wanted to get plugged into CR because this is more than just a CR summit. This is a this is a Christian conference in the, the entertainment, the encouragement, the empowerment, the wisdom. I mean, it's just, it's off the chain, right? And it's off the chain for everybody. So make sure you get your, get registered, get your tickets, get your five, bring your six, one free. Maybe that's your pastor. Maybe that's your your buddy, maybe that's your spouse, you know, I don't know, but get them in and check it out tonight. I want you to know, you heard it first here, this exciting new update. We're going to have Spanish subtitles for the whole summer at Gary Summit. Bam! Go oh, God, man, isn't that amazing? You know, I just want to give a shout out to our, you know, our amazing Celebrate Recovery national team, the leadership that just, they work so hard and they do so much so that we can all be a part of this community so that we can all share in, in what God has for us. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just proud to serve. I'm proud to be a part of this community, man. And so I'm proud to be here with you guys tonight. I've been on for, for about five minutes and I'm trying to get excited about this thing, you know, but it's tough. You see, I'm an introvert and it's hard to get outside of myself, <laughs> but I'm so, uh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys tonight about the power of community the power of community. 
Look, people have heard me say, and I'll say it tonight, the opposite, the opposite of the opposite of addiction is not sobriety. The opposite of your hurt, hang up, or habit is not sobriety. The opposite of addiction is community. That's right, man, because we we're built for community. We can't get better without community. We can't do it alone. In fact, look, my sponsor early on told me, I'll never forget. He told me, he said, Jeff, an addict alone is in bad company. <laughs> Bam, right? Right? Because we need community. We need each other. We need accountability. We need direction. We need correction. We need wisdom. We need each other. And that's one of the best parts of Celebrate Recovery is that we have community. We have a community of like-minded believers, man. We, we're just a bunch of broken people and we know we're broken. Look, the truth is the whole world out there is broken, but you and I, you and I in Celebrate Recovery, we know that. And when you get a bunch of broken people together that know that, we can change the world. Together, you and I can change the world for the cause of Christ, you know, because that's, We've all been created for a purpose. And our purpose is to be in community with others so that they can see that hope is real, that, that healing is available, that change is possible, that freedom is within our grasp, right? But we can't do it alone because you and I both know when we get, we get stuck uh, in ourselves. Look, recently, you know, my brother passed away in March uh, tough time and I'm not trying to bring everybody down tonight, but what I want, what I want you to know is I kind of, I'm, I'm on the celebrate recovery national team and I found myself isolating a little bit, you see, because that's just what the enemy wants me to do. He doesn't want me to plug in with people that are going to encourage me, people that are going to give me direction, uh, help me to move in, in, in the right way. People that are going to keep me accountable. See, the enemy doesn't want that, but celebrate recovery. We know that. See, I know that, but even, even me, uh, the national director of Broken Chains on the CR national team, I have to be very careful because I can get pulled away from that community. And these day and times, I mean, our churches have been, have been, you know, uh, closed. Our, our CR groups have been closed. I mean, that's why it's so important to plug into the Subway Recovery Crisis Response Meetings. That, man, kudos for the, the Subway Recovery National Team that even came up with that idea. They gave us the guidelines and the idea to be able to do that. Uh, to participate. Look, there's also phone calls. You know, we, we need to be plugged in with our sponsor, our accountability partners, our, our, you know, people that speak into our lives spiritually. It's so important because we need each other. In fact, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit of scripture for you. So, uh, so look, I got my handy dandy Silver Recovery Bible. I, I've kind of worn this thing down. In fact, when I got into Silver Recovery, uh, in 2007, we didn't even have a Celebrate Recovery Bible. That's how this thing has evolved over the years. And it's just, just amazing the resources that continue to come out. That's that's something you got to check out on the on the pastors.com page to, to see the Celebrate Recovery resources that are available. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, and, you know, the national team that's come up with these resources, put them together, you know, so that you and I would have a, a clearer path, a smoother uh, path to the cross. So, uh, so look in Ecclesiastes four, nine through 12, it says two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they'll keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, Two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Now, check that out. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. What about a cord of 30,000 strands? Bam! That's what I'm talking about. See, man, since I've become a part of this community of Celebrate Recovery, I have a forever family all over the world. You have a forever family all over the world, and we can connect. Sometimes uh, it's in person at the training conferences at the summits, in-person summits, this year it's online. Doesn't matter. We can connect to each other. We can, we're all parts of the body. I mean, uh, we could go further in scripture. I'm not going to 
get into a whole bunch, but in first Corinthians um, 12, 12 through I think 27, it talks about how we're all parts of the body, right? And so if you're, if you're a finger and I'm the hand, I can't, if I cut you off, man, how am I gonna operate without the finger, right? Man, see, we're all parts of the body and we need each other. God has created us for community, man. Community is just the most important thing. In fact, you know, I just shared with you, I lost my brother. Well, I didn't lose him. I know right where he's at. He's with Jesus. But uh, well, my brother went to be with Jesus back in March. You know, I lost my, my mother a couple years ago, my father a few years before that, my other sister a few years before that. The truth is when I lost my big sister, see, I didn't have this community. And because I didn't have this community, I sunk into to addiction. I mean, I was already prone to it. I was already using it. I just had not gone off the deep end. But but when life hit me in that tough way and I didn't have a community like you guys to turn to, I spiraled out of control. That's when I, I, I became homeless and, and just uh, everything went just completely off the rails for me. But I can fast forward to a few years later after I got sober, after I got plugged into Jesus Christ through the ministry of Celebrate Recovery, I can tell you what, when life hit then, it was all different. Because when life hit then, when my when my father passed away, when my when my mother passed away, when my brother passed away, man, this community, they rallied around me. I mean, I never felt so much love in my entire life. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, I don't know how people without a community like this can make it. I mean, the truth is many don't. That's why, that's why there are so many hopeless people out there because they feel alone, you know? I mean, Celebrate Recovery shows us that we're not alone. You know, when I walked into the doors of Celebrate Recovery, I didn't think anybody could relate to me. I didn't think anybody had it like I had it. I didn't think anybody could understand. You see that? That sense of aloneness, man, that's that's right where the enemy likes to get us, man. That that sense of aloneness and not not thinking that that anybody could be there for us because nobody could possibly understand. But what I came to realize is, I mean, you and me, we're way more alike than uh than even you might realize. <laughs> that's right. Look, you may not have the tattoos and the beard, you may not have the long hair, you may not have the gruffy voice. But look, you and I, at least most of us, you know, we've had something broken inside of us, the self-esteem issues inside of us that make us hold on to that shame and that guilt and those things that Jesus came that we didn't have to hold on to, right? I mean, and if I can be kept alone, then I just roll that stuff over and over in my mind. I can really get caught up in the wrong thing. But look, when I started to get caught up in that wrong thing, you know, I found myself isolated. You know what? My phone started to ring. And I had brothers, accountability partners, to call me and say, hey, man, we need to talk. You need to talk this thing out. We need to grab a cup of coffee. Or we can stay six feet apart. And we can still talk. You know? My sponsor told me that I had to call him at least twice a week you know i mean i had to do some things like that to come out of that but but in in and of myself right i just wanted to hold up and be by myself but that's no place to be and i'm just so i mean celebrate recovery is a for, is really a forever family you know i've traveled all over the country uh sharing scr groups and meeting my forever family and what a blessing, what a blessing to know that, that I can go here, I can go to Albuquerque, New Mexico, I can go to Chicago, Illinois, I can go to Los Angeles, California, I can go to Yakima, Washington, I can go to the Florida Keys, and I have forever family. I have forever family there, you guys, to lift me up, to hold me accountable, to love me enough to tell me when I'm doing something that might be taking me off the rails. I need that. I'm sure you need that, right? This community is, is what God has created us all for. 
and it's just uh it's just so amazing you know to be a part of it to be a to be a part of a community of like-minded believers man to, to know you know to know that we don't have it all together right i mean look i had wandered into church a few times but i just really didn't feel like i fit in because those people they had it all together right Look, the truth is, even after I got saved and sober, um, I cleaned up my act, man. I, I cut my hair off. I shaved my beard. Uh, you know, I wore a suit and tie. There's nothing wrong with that. So look, don't, don't be throwing tomatoes at me. There's nothing wrong with that. But it wasn't me. But you see, I thought that I had to be, uh, I thought I had to look like a Christian. The truth is, I needed to be acting like a Christian, right? I needed to be a Christian, you know, and so, so as, as I became more grounded in my recovery, as I stayed plugged into this community, um, you know, God began to work in my life in ways that I never imagined. And, and, uh, you know, at one point I realized that it was okay to be me for God's glory, right? I mean, Rick Warren said, do it. I, mean, I, I believe in the purpose driven life. He said, you know, find what you have a passion to do, what you love to do what wakes you up in the morning and then do it for God's glory, right? So so it's so amazing that Sober Recovery has led me to a place that I can be me and I can be used by God and uh, I can be a blessing to my family, my community, and to those around me. You know, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just amazing. Look, I don't want to get a preach on tonight because that's not what this is all about. But the power of this community I'm telling you what, you know, we are better together. We're created to be together, and uh, and I can't imagine doing life without you guys. So I'm plugged into the Celebrate Recovery Ministry for the rest of my life. And what what I want to say about you know this Celebrate Recovery Online Summit, what an opportunity, what an opportunity to share this this thing that we both love so much. What an opportunity to let others know what God has done in our lives, he'll, he can do in their lives. You know, I see, uh, I see people, I, see, I have friends, I have family members, they need this, man. They need to be a part of this community. I see them struggling and suffering through things that they don't have to, because we shouldn't have to, to go through stuff alone. We're not built for that. Right? We're built to be a part of a community. So the power and community, I mean, we see it throughout scripture. You know, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, this is my first uh, Summer Recovery Facebook Live by myself here. And so, uh, you know, I wasn't quite as, I'm not quite as prepared as, as I want to be. I don't know. I don't want to just keep reading scripture to you out of the Bible. I mean, you guys can go in and check it for yourself. Um, because it just over and over and over, we see the importance of being part of the body. I mean, Jesus said it. We're part, we're part of the body of Christ. We're part of the body of Christ. I mean, how does it get any better than that? And look, other so so as much as you need, yeah, here we go. Now I got some more to talk about. No, look, as much as as much as you need the other parts of the body, check this out. The other parts of the body need you. They need you, right? So the truth is, as we get plugged into recovery, as we become emotionally and spiritually mature through the process by working the eight principles and the 12 steps, we realize that it ain't about us, right? It's not about me. See, because if it's not about me, then I'm not going to get high. If it's not about me, I can't have an argument, right? If it's not about me, things become way different. The truth, it's a, it's, the truth is, it's about what I can do for somebody else, how I can serve my brother. You know, Jesus said, I'll leave you with these too. You know, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So there's, there's a few things in there. Of course, we know we need to love God with all our heart and all our mind. We need to love our brothers. We love ourselves. So... So back that up, man. If I don't got $5, I can't loan you five, right? See, if I don't love myself, I can't love the others around me. So Sober Recovery has gotten me to a place. 
not where I love, love myself in a prideful way, but so great recovery has shown me that I'm worth loving, you know, because God loves me. God created me to be me. God created this mess, right? It can be a mess, but it can be a beautiful mess, right? So I've learned through the process of recovery, I've learned by getting plugged into the power that Jesus Christ came for me to have, that I'm worthy to be loved. And so I can love myself in that way. And then, and then when I have that, I can love my brother, you see, because then as I've, as God has cleaned me up from the inside out, as God has pulled me out of the ditch, I can go help somebody else out of the ditch, right? Who's read it in Ecclesiastes. You can't climb out of the ditch by yourself, right? See, so those that are still in the ditch, they need me and you to help pull them up and out. They need to be a part of this community too. We all need to be a part of this community. It's, it's important on both sides. It's important for me and it's important for you. It's important for them, for those folks that are out there that need this, you know, Christians and non-Christians, you know, there's a lot of people sitting in our churches that are hurting, man, hurting behind a smile. There's a lot of people that are not living the freedom that Jesus Christ came here for them to have. You and I, we've learned that through Celebrate Recovery. This community has shown us the process to find the freedom that he came that we might have. You know, see, he said that, he, he said, he said, I come that you might have life and have it to the full might have life. See, it wasn't a promise. He didn't say, I've come that you will have life. He said, I come that you might have life. And the process of celebrate recovery, it has shown us that. It's shown us the process that we can have that life and have it to the full. And the only way to get the word out to others is to be a part of this community and bring others in to be a part of this community in the way that we don't forget. You see, like I tried to do uh, this past March, the way we don't forget how valuable we are, the way we don't forget how loved we are, the way we don't forget is by the community that reaches out to us and reminds us. You know, I need to be reminded sometimes when I make a bonehead choice, I need to be reminded sometimes when I'm beating myself up. I need to be reminded sometimes when it feels like the world is falling apart. You see, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor, if you got a job or you're unemployed. It doesn't matter if you ride a motorcycle or you don't, if you're married or you're single. Life's tough. Life is tough and we need each other. And so just like people pull me up out of that ditch when I start to crawl back into it, I have to continue my recovery. I have to keep continuing to work my program so that I'm ready to pull them out of the ditch when they need it too. And the only way to do that is to stay connected. When we stay connected, man, look, a three cord strand is not easily broken. So see you and me and God in the middle. That's a three cord strand that's not easily broken. And you, and me, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. That's not only not easily broken, that's impossible to break. When we stay plugged into this community, there's no way to fail. There's no way to fail. God created us for it. He created this ministry of Celebrate Recovery. Uh, he implemented it through John Baker, Saddleback Church. And hundreds of thousands of lives are changed for the better. And look, I can't, I can't go anywhere with my Celebrate Recovery t-shirt on, Celebrate Recovery ball caps, and Celebrate Recovery flags on my truck. That people, I mean, even if they've never been, they go, hey, wait, I've heard of that. Tell me, what's that all about? And I get to reel them into this community, man, that they need to be a part of, that everybody needs to be a part of. Look. The world would be a different place if everybody would plug into Celebrate Recovery, right? Because this process that we found that cleans us up from the inside out, it's just, 
it's just truly amazing. And so I don't know, uh, I don't know how many questions I might have on here. I don't know if I have a chance. I don't really, no one gave me any, any uh, regular questions to answer, but, but I would like to encourage you, man, as part of this community, to, to throw your prayer requests out there. Me, other members of the Summer Recovery National Team, Broken Chains members, we want to we want to see what what you need prayer for. But you know what? Even not just prayer requests. I mean, prayer requests. We want your prayer requests. We want to pray for you. We want to pray with each other. That's we're we're created to, to be there for each other as part of this community. But not only do we want to pray for you, man, we want to celebrate with you too. So look, post some of the victories that you've had this week. Post some of the praise reports. You know, my pastor tells me we should have 10 praise reports for every one prayer request, right? So, man, I mean, when we open up our eyes and look around to all the blessings that God has for us, I mean, people need to see that. So post your praise reports on here, too. Post your prayer requests and your praise reports and uh, and maybe some of your summit experiences, man. I tell you, I've been to the Celebrate Recovery Summit. I think I've been sober 13 years, so I've been, I think, 12 times. Uh, the, the only year I didn't go, I think, was that uh, the first year I got sober. Because after that, I went to the summit in 2008, and I've been every year since. I can't get enough of it. There's, there's uh, just, I mean, it's just off the chain that, you know, they say it's like trying to drink water from a fire hydrant, and it truly is. I mean, the amount of information, the encouragement, the entertainment, the wisdom, man, the fellowship, the testimonies, it's off the chain. And it's off the chain for anybody. So, so again, you know, before we close out, I know we're getting near the end of our time, you know, Post your prayer requests. We want to pray for you. Uh, post your praise reports. We want to celebrate with you. And and take advantage of this Celebrate Recovery Online Summit. I'm so excited. I mean, again, people who've never been able, you know, I mean, it's tough to buy a plane ticket, drive, rent a car, get a hotel room, pay for the food, take the time off for it. Those things are tough. I mean, they're worth it. I do it uh, every year because... I just, I just love it. I can't get it up. But some people just can't do it. It's almost impossible. And some people don't realize the value in it. But this year with the online summit, you know, all those barriers have been just tossed by the wayside. They're just broken, man. There's, there, it's hard to come up with an excuse uh, that you can't make it to the summit. And so, again, I would invite your pastors, invite your friends, your family, your church family, your beautician, your waitress, your tattoo artist, invite them all. Invite them all to the Celebrate Recovery. In fact, I mean, at 49 bucks, buy them a ticket. Invite them to your house or your church to watch you. We're having watch parties. I see people doing that all over the place. That's so exciting. Um, you know, Pamela and I are talking about having a watch party here in, in the bike shed. Got a big screen TV on the wall and we can bring it in and, and hang out with with family and just just love on each other and, and just take it all in and then talk about it. I mean, it's just uh, it's just amazing. And so I'm just so grateful to be on here with you guys tonight. And I know we're we're winding it up now. And maybe I could say a prayer. Would that be cool with y'all? Is that all right? Somebody give me a thumbs up. All right, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, we just come humbly before you today, Lord. We're we're just blown away by the way you come in and rock our worlds. We thank you for this community, this community of broken people, Lord, to realize we're broken. We thank you for your son. We thank you for each other, Lord, that you show up so vividly in our lives through other members of this community. Father. We thank you for the revelation that we're not any more broken than anybody else. Lord, we thank you for each other, Lord. So I ask that everybody that's on here tonight, Lord, that you would bless them with a just amazing week ahead, that you bless them with an amazing night, Lord, and that you remind them to stay plugged into this community, Lord, and help to pull others into this community where so many need to be. Father, we just, we love you and we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for Celebrate Recovery. We thank you for the, another opportunity in our lives to be used. We thank you for each other. We pray these things in Jesus' name. All right, y'all. Well, I think we uh 
we had about 30 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Like I say, man, keep sharing this video because people out there, they need to see what we've got to say. They need to see your prayer requests, your praise reports. They need to see about this online CR Summit, crsummits.com. Make sure you go Summits with an S. Make sure you check out the website, order your T-shirt, your Come Rejoice CR Summit T-shirt. Um, there's there's Zoom meeting backgrounds. I mean, they got the, the, sum, the Summit frames for your Facebook uh, profile pic. I mean, just amazing ways. We're electronic evangelists. We need to get the word out, man, because it's important. It's important that people realize the power in this community. So I love y'all. Have a great night. Peace out.